welcome back everybody so this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on stock market and before we get started please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys and if you're new here consider subscribing now if you want to get my daily trade ideas swing trade ideas live trading and you want to support the channel definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon Dow is up 0.34%, Nasdaq going flat on the day, and S&P and Russell also staying flat, and nothing really happening on Friday, pretty much a flat day all across the board. And here's 11 sectors that makes up S&P 500 on top. We got leading the way, basic materials, energy, financial, communication services, consumer cyclical, industrials, lagging behind, technology, utilities, consumer defensive, and healthcare. Now, week to date performance right here for last week, we definitely have a risk on move. Technology leading the way on top, communication services, real estate, basic materials, healthcare, and then we got lagger right here, industrials and energy not really going up that much last week. And what we got here on stock market map, we got energy sector going up. Right here, you got XOM and Chevron, both are up on the day. And then we got Amazon going up half a percent, Tesla up 1.50%. We also have Netflix going up 1.73%, Google going up over 1% and hitting a fresh new all-time high. Apple staying flat on the day, Microsoft also staying flat on the day, and Nvidia stock going down 2%. And look at all these right here, guys. Regional banks and bigger banks like JPM going up over 1%. And that led to at least a green day on Russell 2000 and nothing really pulling back on Russell 2000. And all these regional banks are also pretty much in the green today. On DIA, Dow Jones ETF, it's up 0.33%. So it's closing near 400. And that is going to be a level to watch going into Monday's session. Now, yes, next week, guys, we do have the mega earnings, the biggest earnings that can actually move the market. And I'm not talking about Apple or Microsoft. We do have earnings coming out from Nvidia and that is gonna be a market moving event again next week. So is the market actually setting up for another fresh new all time high? Well, we just have to wait and find out and that can happen with Nvidia's earning on Wednesday. So here on Dow Jones, what's next? Above 400, we could see a push up to, I would say 403 to 405 and maybe even 408, which is going to be extremely, extremely overbought at that point. Even this move, I mean, so far today, what we saw, it was just trying to digest this massive move. We still have a gap down here and I'm not even talking about this gap right here at 396.25. So here on Dow Jones, guys, if this thing can clear 400, then the next stop, 403, 405, and possibly even 408. Below 400, and soon as DIA gives up, 398, you're going to see a drop down to 396.25 to close this gap. Now, in that process, if this thing cannot hold this gap as a support, you're going to see immediate pullback down to 192 and possibly down to 190 and then we can talk about rising 20 sma 388 so these are some levels to watch next week on dia so far it just digesting this massive move to the upside and next week definitely you're going to see a breakout over 400 or a breakdown below 398 will take dia down to at least this gap 396.25 and who knows possibly even down here 392 to even 390 and here's my x account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and there is no subscription nothing here on x is totally free and you can always ask me a question if you have right here on x and i do put out a lot more things right here on x and here's a fantastic play from Friday, guys. And this was same day expiration right here. So Shopify came down to 57 and I actually got $58 calls, same day expiration. And from there, guys, I mean, this thing went up over 
170% in just a matter of, I mean, look at this insane move. And where I sold, it was already up 170%. Really nice profit on that one. And if you want trade ideas like this one and more on swing trade and live trading, and especially if you're serious, definitely check out their link down below in the description for Patreon. On Triple Q, it's absolutely flat on the day. So we saw a bit of a selling today here on Triple Q. But look at this move, guys. I mean, this was previous all-time highs right here, 4.49 and some change. And what happened today? Well, there was a pullback, and it was actually a decent pullback. We almost got a $3 pullback. And I know it sounds funny that $3 pullback, and I'm calling that a decent pullback. Well, here's the thing, guys. Things are just pushing higher and higher. This was a bear flag. And look at how this thing is resolving to the upside, even on SPY ETF. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Everything resolving to the upside. So that is just insane, you know, bearish pattern playing out to the upside. And now, and not only that, things are getting at extreme where fear and greed index showing that it just greed, you know, it was actually a uh, low fear and just greed, you know, we're not even at extreme greed and market just pushing higher. Now, here's the thing. What's going to happen next week with earnings from NVIDIA? If there is a $100, $150 gap up, guess what? Maybe fresh new all-time highs again. Also keep that in mind. What happens if there is a gap down like $100, $150 on NVIDIA? What's going to happen to NASDAQ 100? In this case, Triple Q, where you could see a mega gap down, right? So there is no guarantee that it's going to go up or go down. We cannot predict the earnings on NVIDIA. But so far, last how many earnings? Like five, six earnings. They're just beating and it just keep going up and up. So this earnings, there might be a change. They might be beating the earnings. There might be something else. The expectation on NVIDIA stock is so high that if they miss anything and I don't want to talk about it, but I'm just going to say it. I don't trust the CEO. He's going to come out, run his mouth, and it will just push the stock higher. And guess what? As the stock goes higher and it's happening behind the scenes, they're just selling and selling and making money out of it, right? And retail traders, investors, us, we're just getting more and more bullish. Now, yes, when things were down here, guys, I said, Please don't show this. And it was going up immediately. Right after that video, market went higher. It was getting extremely oversold. And now, even last week, smart money was trapping retail traders. They were selling out. But guess what? Soon as they saw that CPI number, they started buying. So if they start buying, market can go higher easily and that's what we got here you know this thing exploded this gap is still open down here we did close not all the way there is still a gap down here 446.47 and with this gap up we got up to a fresh new all-time high on thursday and that is almost 455 now yes things are getting really frothy and overbought right now are we going to see finally this rally ending and some sort of a pullback at least to retest this gap as a support and look at this guys i mean low high higher low and then just going straight up there is no higher low we're just making higher highs and going straight up these were you know some pullback here and there, but nothing big. It was going up for what? 10, 11 days. Even today, it was actually green. You cannot call this a red day. Came down to where? Previous all-time highs right here. And look at this magnetic support. Immediately went back up. And now trading at almost 452. So as long as this previous all-time highs right here can hold as a support, and that is around 
Watch out for a move now. Not only up to 455, up to even 457, and then the next stop, 460. And that's going to play out with earnings coming out from NVIDIA. Now, moment we take out this support, previous all-time highs, there will be a drop, at least down to this gap, 446.47, and that is going to be your next stop, the next support, strong support to hold on Triple Q. And once we get under this gap, there will be more selling, possibly down to, I would say, at least right down here to retest this breakout. And that's going to be around 440 to 441 in line with this rising 13 SMA on this daily time frame. On SPY ETF, it's up 0.14%, so nothing big, another flat day. But look at this, we actually got, so the weekly expected move to the upside for this week was 527, right? And what happened today? Again, we're closing outside the expected move. So it actually came back down to 527 and that was the support. Not even retesting previous all-time highs right here just below 525, not even closing this gap. And just coming down to 527, going back up and now trading just above 529 on SPY ETF. So for next week, as long as SPY ETF can stay above rising 5-day moving average right here, five, I would say 527 right here. Watch out for continuation back up to possibly 533. That's going to be another fresh new all-time high, 535 and the next stop, 540. Now, also here on SPY ETF, things are getting frothy and overbought. Are we going to see a pullback? Well, that's also possible, but the support needs to break. And that's going to be rising 5-day moving average, 527. It will be rising Monday morning even more. So that is why, you know, I would say 527 because 526.43 Monday morning, it's going to be around 527. So below that, watch out for previous all-time highs. And that's going to be around 524 to 523, this gap as a support. And this could be possibly a strong support on a gap fill reversal to the upside. Now, if this support breaks and we get something like this big bearish engulfing candle, then you know that this is it. You're going to see a lot more selling here in this market and things are getting exhausted. So watch out. You know, we break support here to the downside, rising 5-day moving average. Then watch out for more downside down to this gap around 525 to 523 right here. And below that, we also have strong support and this uh, two-day balance range right here, 520, that's going to be also a strong support below 523.83 on SPY ETF. On IWM, it's absolutely flat on the day and closing above rising five-day moving average. And I'm happy to say that finally on IWM, we do have a bull trend. All these moving averages right here are positive sloping to the upside. And that is a bull trend on this daily time frame on Russell 2000. So going into Monday session, guys, on a pullback, 208, now that's going to be your line in the sand. And below that, watch out for this support down here. That's going to be around 206. And there will be support at 204.51, down to even 202.63, and then this gap at 200. Now, if things can continue to the upside and 208 can hold, the next stop, 212, and above that, that's going to be a massive breakout for more upside on IWM. So watch out for that next week. On VIX is down 3.46%. So this is just insane how things are looking on VIX and how the market actually going up where this thing getting absolutely decimated. Now, I was talking to my Patreon members in my Discord just uh, yesterday that, you know, tomorrow is Friday and we could see VIX crash again. And someone was saying, I mean, what's there left to crush? Well, there is something left. And that is why this thing again got crushed on Friday. And that is just insane. Now, yes, I'm going to give you guys some hopes right here on VIX. We do have kind of a bullish falling wedge right here. So if you look at my screen, I don't know when that's going to play out. 
but it can play out right here. So if you look at my screen, we do have this bullish falling wedge right here on VIX. Now also, we're pretty much retesting this low down here. And from this low, we saw a spike up to 14, 15 right here. So that is definitely possible. We also have a gap right up here, 14, 58. So that can happen on VIX. So next week, early as Monday morning, I mean, this thing has nowhere to go and possibly somewhere to go to the upside up to this gap at least. We saw a gap up here and what happened? Well, SPY ETF, NASDAQ 100 and everything else gapped up. They never came back, right? This thing immediately came back, closing this gap. I mean, look at the way this thing closing this gap. Gapping down to close this gap from this gap up. And that is just insane price action here in this market, guys. I mean, it's, it's next level. So now, are we going to see, I mean, we pretty much got a similar pattern like here with more red candles here on VIX. So watch out, we get a breakout. I would say at least it needs to get above 13. And then we can talk about this gap right up here, 14.58. Until then, there is no support, nothing. This thing is oversold. There will be some sort of a support here when this thing hits lower Bollinger Band. And that's going to be 11.22 right here. And to the upside, the only way up, getting above 13. And then we can talk about filling this gap right here at 14.58 and possibly even retesting resistance here at 15 bucks. Until then, guys, this thing definitely not going anywhere. So the dollar also staying flat on the day. And if you look at my screen, 104.48. So far, we actually came under that level. We got a big bearish engulfing candle and then followed by a green candle and now pretty much staying above 104.48 and holding that as a support. So here on dollar index, watch out. If this thing actually breaks out over, I would say 105, then you're going to see continuation possibly up to 106. Until then, if this thing takes out 104.48, the next stop down here 104.26 and possibly coming all the way down here 103.58 and that's going to be fuel to the fire for the market and you're going to see S&P 500 and especially NASDAQ 100 pushing even higher. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section and I'll definitely keep you guys updated here in the stock market going into Monday's session.